Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Red Hen owner puts big sign up outside her restaurant, instantly regrets her stupid decision. The owner of the now controversial Red Hen in Virginia is facing some potential regrets after people spotted the sign that was allegedly hung in the window of the eatery. Not only is Stephanie Wilkinson facing quite the backlash and commentary from social media as she sees the red hen mentioned in the news, she's now going to see some action for the sign that was hung up. This might not be very good advertising for her business as the sign points out quite a bit of hypocrisy after she touted her morals as one of the reasons for kicking out Sarah Sanders, the White House press secretary, and her family members. The sign that was allegedly spotted in the window showed a quote from Martin Luther King and it was displayed on the news. The photograph below was taken from a Twitter account that goes by the name Donna and it shows the sign being displayed on Fox News. The sign was probably shown on other networks as well since it appears that many networks have covered this controversial story. That sign alone is enough to spark the conversation about the hypocrisy that's commonly found among those spouting the highest liberal morals. Wilkinson had another message for Sarah Sanders, indirectly of course, when she was talking to The Washington Post. She said she would kick Sarah Sanders out of the restaurant again. Of course, that's if the restaurant survives and remains open. It might be more difficult to get customers now that she's personally seemed to alienate people over their political choices. BPR stated, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders and her three children were thrown out of Red Hen on June 23 because the restaurant's liberal owner and staff despise President Trump. Stephanie Wilkinson, the owner of Red Hen, bragged about kicking a mom and her kids out of her restaurant and said she'd happily do it again. Absolutely, yes, I would have done the same thing again, Wilkinson chirped to the Washington Post. We just felt there are moments in time when people need to live their convictions. This appeared to be one. Wilkinson insisted she's not confrontational and said she kicked Sanders and her children out to stand up for her moral beliefs. I'm not a huge fan of confrontation, Wilkinson said. I have a business, and I want the business to thrive. This feels like the moment in our democracy when people have to make uncomfortable actions and decisions to uphold their morals. It's unclear where Wilkinson's morals were during the eight years of Barack Obama's presidency, when his administration separated tens of thousands of children from their illegal immigrant parents and beat and starved the kids while the media turned a blind eye. President Trump fired back at the restaurant, tweeting, The Red Hen restaurant should focus more on cleaning its filthy canopies, doors and windows, badly needs a paint job rather than refusing to serve a fine person like Sarah Huckabee Sanders, if a restaurant is dirty on the outside, it is dirty on the inside. It sure sounds like Red Hen is long overdue for a restaurant inspection visit. If it's morals over money, then the Red Hen might have a hard time staying open. It's one thing to have morals, but it's another thing to have a difference of opinions over politics and people shouldn't inject their food choices with political spices. The political climate has turned toxic as so many far-left people begin shouting about violence and taking off the gloves, but what they don't realize is that they're constantly the ones promoting and provoking the violence. Many of the Republican-aligned people call for political discourse in a civilized manner while people like Maxine Waters call for uncivilized behavior reminiscent of ancient angry cavemen fighting over a piece of food they found. The number of double standards and hypocrisy is very real and it's a shame that people have become so far-fetched that they're now kicking each other out of restaurants and calling for violence. The liberal agenda sinks further into the sea of irrelevance while Trump continues to edge them into the water. They have reached a time where they are more intolerant than ever while forcing agendas upon people and screaming at them if they don't agree. That's called intolerance and they're really good at it. It's partly why Trump won. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.